Now I would like to call our first speaker, uh, Dr. Mohammad Masku, uh, Maksud Khan, who is an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering, National University of Computer and Emerging Sciences, Peshawar, Pakistan. He completed his PhD in electrical engineering from Fast Uses in 2021. Uh, I want to share my slides, so uh, uh, I'm not allowed to share uh, my screen, so uh, what I have to do now? As I'm getting an option that you are not allowed to share your screen, I want to share my screen so that I can start my presentation. Shared my screen. Uh, can you see my presentation, everyone? So, uh, hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Maksud Muhammad Khan. I'm assistant professor at the Department of Electrical Engineering, uh, National University of uh, Computer and Emerging Sciences. Uh, Fast News is Peshawar Campus. Uh, I'm very much excited to be a keynote speaker today to the very first international conference on emerging trends and innovation, ICETI. And I think uh, it's a big event where experts from different domain, and I have checked different uh, topics and the research areas from of the different uh, speakers, and who are going to share their uh, ideas and their research interests and current trends uh, in the technology. I must say a big thanks to the uh, president, uh, Dr. Inamullah Khan, the sponsors and the chief organizers for making this event happen. And I'm honored to talk about my topic, which is information reconciliation technique for quantum key distribution. So uh, the today's presentation uh, talk, uh, uh, talk is related to the quantum communication and the well-known application of uh, quantum communication, which is uh, uh, quantum key distribution. So I'll discuss this, but uh, before discussing my presentation and moving forward, I'll quickly uh, give you uh, 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 the overview that what is in my uh, speak uh, today and what I'll talk. I just discussed a, a, a brief introduction, uh, motivation and the introduction to the quantum key distribution and quantum communication and the associated reconciliation protocols. And along with this, I'll also discuss some channel codes. And a very important thing which I'll discuss is the ordered statistics decoding for the QKD applications. So uh, uh, for this, uh, I have implemented the system model. Uh, that how to implement QKD system discuss discuss all the information signals or um, anything from one place to another. So the development and the maturity of electronics and the electromagnetic technologies in the past or the, in the recent history uh, has led to the improvement in speed and coverage of the communications. So it requires the high bandwidth demands for all sort of communications like uh, that the, the applications can be latency acute applications. Some are not the latency acute applications. And uh, so the, the, the thing is the optical communication became the, uh, the ultimate solution for it. Why? Because the optical communication use the, uh, uh, they, are, they are fast, it is more secure than the conventional communication uh, systems. So, and optical communication uses the, uh, the optical uh, bits are transmitted, the op optical information are transmitted in the form of photons and photons are nothing but the energy packets. So, we know that, that using photons may work. Uh, application. All this we want a secure, and, uh, secure and fast communication. So photons are the ultimate solution for it, and they, they carry our information. 
more specifically, uh, some applications or at most applications, they require a single photons, a few photons per bit for information at the receiving side. So for this a major two applications in the optical domains are available. The one is uh, a weak energy optical communication and the another one is quantum communication. In the weak energy optical communication, um, uh, we are having two broad fields. You know, the first one is the stress-free space optical communication and the second one is low probability of intercept, which is LPI. So the stress-free space optical communication, it requires uh, the which require extreme conditions in terms of normally use from satellite to earth communication or communication in the extreme weather like fog, smoke or other uh, underwater communication. Uh, LPI Optical communication used it the insis that contains single or at most few photons. This is a variation in the quantum communication. Basically, the transfer of photons from one. Place to end uh, uh, optical blades so optical for uh, uh, the uh, uh, transition is basically uh, I'm going to discuss the quantum key distribution quantum key distribution is uh, the creation of quantum cryptography cryptography is nothing but securing information from improved hackers so in quantum cryptography it is having an application quantum key distribution to transmit a uh, secure or random keys between the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, two uh, uh, bodies, like from transmitter or receiver, they can use the QKD system to transmit the information or anything for the sake of security, for the sake of fast communication. So we must say, I must say that uh, this is basically the QKD system. QKD is a quantum key distribution in which uh, 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 it is having a merge channel. In the merge channel, uh, the QKD use uh, a public channel or a classical channel or it can be or EWGN or um, any conventional channel that is normally used in conventional communication system. Whereas in, uh, along with this, uh, the QKD, uh, the quantum, uh, quantum channel is also used. So QKD is basically a merge channel model. It is not a single channel model. It is a merge channel model in which the transmitter generate information or bits or it is sent on the, uh, uh, the merge channel. The receiver decode the merge information using some decoding algorithm. The decoding algorithm can be a, a, a soft decoder, decoding algorithm or the decoding decoders or the hard decoders can be used at the receiving side. So it's not that much easy. The thing which I have explained that uh, this is very like like uh, 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 in QKD scheme, the, the transmitter the transmitter can use the encoding algorithms for the sake of uh, more uh, secure system. So moving forward uh, in the uh, quantum communication or in the QKD or anything related to the quantum, the information is represented with a quantum bit. A quantum bit is nothing but uh, information, which is a one bit. And it is known as a qubit. So the, this is the famous protocol that is suggested for the QKD scheme, the BB84 protocol. This protocol, or this protocol, tells you that how uh, the information is created on the communication medium or uh, the communication media uh, 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 through uh, photons. Or so this is nothing but a polarization states or a linear or rectilinear polar uh, states of the photons that are transmitted on the transmission channel or medium, uh, which is a quantum channel. And at the receiving side, some decoding as algorithm which will be associated with this uh, encoding schemes and then formation will be decoded. Photons will be decoded that contains your information. Uh, 
Now coming towards this is a, a basically a specific uh, uh, area now uh, in which a QKD scheme uh, uh, is implemented. Like you are supposed you are having an information bits. The information bits uh, are normally sent on a quantum channel, which is more secure and redundant bits. Like what I'm doing here, or uh, we, uh, uh, I'm just encoding my information bits with uh, some technique like. Uh, we, have, we are having some uh, forward error correction schemes that can be used on the transmission side. Let me explain it from here. It will be more clear. So from the, uh, you can see on the left side, we are having a transmitter in which the transmitter, the systematic encoder is used. The information bits comes from the uh, source. The information bits are uh, encoded means that what we are doing, we are adding the redundant bits and the redundant bits are sent a clear channel or a public channel, whereas the information bits that are represented with the NQ and NQR, they are transmitted using a quantum private channel. On the receiving side, we are having a soft decoder and the information is decoded uh, using uh, different types of uh, uh, soft decoder can be used, but it will depends on your application. Like suppose if you are using, uh, you are uh, very, uh, sensitive about uh, uh, your information and you don't want any delays in your uh, at the receiving site so for that you can use a specific type of decoder which is an ordered statistic decoding algorithm or OSD decoder. So this is the scheme which is a uh, forward error, error correction. The error correction mechanisms we are doing we are just increasing the signal power uh, decrease the sort of signal noise so at the receiving site uh, the, the will be more accurate or in, in other words the, the information will be error free so uh, in the QKD scheme I have proposed we can use the forward error correction which is a new thing which is a novel thing along with this the uh, there are different types of uh, forward error correction codes like uh, uh, you may have seen the block codes or you know about maybe you have some idea about the block codes, the convolutional code or the interleaving code but uh, we suggest uh, the block codes are very suitable uh, for QKD scheme and specifically for in the block codes, uh, the systematic codes in which the, the, the redundant bits and the information bits are uh, available uh, in a proper sequence and they are transmitted in a regular manner on the communication uh, uh, medium. So uh, now uh, moving towards the information reconciliation using channel codes. A very important thing is, uh, a very important thing is, uh, what we want to do. We are, uh, we basically uh, want uh, a system that must be very secure, and I want that proper information should receive at the receiving side. So, a channel codes like I have discussed, the the some source encoding algorithms can be used. So, in my particular case, and we suggest the Bose Chaudhary Hockingham codes, which is an algebraic code code a very popular code it was discovered back in 1960 so we have used these we have also used the codes but in future directions i have i will discuss we are some other codes the forward error correction codes that can be used and results can be generated and uh, that can be your new idea and you can take out some more papers and research uh, uh, ideas from that so Moving forward, the BCH code is used for, can be used and I have used for QKD scheme. So uh, it is very popular uh, encoding, uh, source encoding algorithm. And the BCH code is decoded with the BM decoder and Massey decoding algorithm. I told you that uh, different types of decoding schemes can be used at the receiving side. So one is hard decoder and the other one is soft decoder. We suggest, I suggest the soft decoding algorithm, which is more reliable, which will give you more accurate results. The complexity is less. Whereas in the hard decoder, they are they're a bit more complex. The results are not that much promising. So my suggestion is using of soft decoder for QKD scheme. Moving forward, so uh, these are some hard decoding algorithms and some soft decoders I have implemented and I have simulated all these decoding algorithms for QKD schemes and I have tested the results which I'll, I will show, uh, I will present both results over here. 
OSD decoder, a promising class of decoding algorithm for QKD applications can be used. OSD has different variants from OSD 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It means that the OSD decoding will be stopped at particular stage when the optimal result is generated. So, so you can let me show it from the figure. This is basically the uh, result generated from a QKD scheme using uh, a BCH source encoder and OSD order statistic decoder at the receiving site. The OSD5 uh, variants are implemented and you can see from the figures that the OSD2 generates an optimal result. So at the OSD2, when the error rate are same, the result is generated and the information is decoded. This is the case in block length 31. A block length, the information bits over here is 21. And when you add redundant bits to the information bits, what you will get a block length, which is 31. So, so this is very important uh, that uh, uh, a block length 31 will give you this result. And this is the medium length code. This is a block length 63. Information bit is 39 and it will give you, the OSD will give you uh, result at the third stage of the uh, uh, decoding process. So this is very, uh, 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 I think, I think I have searched the literature and I have checked it is not implemented and used for the QKD scheme and it is not used for the BCH encoder. BCH encoder. So I will suggest in the end, what you can do, what we can do in future, so to get more results and some optimal results, and that will be a novel work. You can, uh, you can, up, you can uh, use it anywhere, right? So here, in the of time, I'm quickly going to the figures and the idea which uh, I will share. So this is the figure that uh, OSD decoder, the BM decoder, which is a Berkeley Messi algorithm, the belief propagation algorithm, OSD, they are all simulated for a block length 31 and you can see from the red curve from the red curve that it will give you it is giving you an optimal result so i think that's uh, that's that uh, the result is very promising that's why i'm saying osd is giving you optimal result for using qkd scheme and using a source encoder which is a bch code this is the average error rate plotted here. The average error rate in block length 31 and in block length 63. You know the value, the SNR importance, increasing an SNR. When you increase the SNR, it means you, what you are doing, you are increasing the signal power. So when you increase the signal power, it means that the optimal result is generated for a high value of SNR. So at 6.5, we are having a low error rate. So you can, it's up to you that suppose the, if your requirement is low, you are, if you don't want, you cannot afford uh, expenses or any related thing. So you can switch to the lower SNR and don't use uh, SNR at a higher, uh, uh, higher rate. So it all depends upon uh, your scenario. Now coming towards the, the limitation of the decoding algorithm. This decoding algorithm is only suitable for a block length 31, 32, 40, 60, 65, right? It means that this decoding algorithm gives you an optimal result for a block length 31 and medium and short length. So if, if you are using decoding algorithm for a block, large block, like suppose if you are transmitting your uh, video, video and the file is large, so you cannot use the OSD decoding algorithm for it. And suppose if you are sending your image or any latency acute information, the OSD is preferable. Some future directions, you can use different memory modulation schemes. You can explore more codes like polar codes. They are very important and they are newly discovered code. So not too much new, but they are uh, uh, new as compared to the BCH and other algebraic codes. You can explore uh, some more forward error correction codes and implement those codes on QKD. A lot of papers and ideas will be generated uh, from it. A very last but not the least, a free space optical link. You can implement a free space optical link. Suppose if you are not having an optical link, 
So what you will do, how to implement the QKD link if you are having a wireless medium, so you want to send uh, optical pulses, you want to send the photons, you want to send the qubits. So what you need to do, you need a free space optical link. How to model the free space optical link, how to model a QKD free space optical link. This is an open research uh, directions over uh, here. The so uh, that's all from my side. I'm very much uh, thankful to all of you, to the organizing team again, to Dr. Inam and the chief organizers and the sponsor for giving me uh, a wonderful opportunity for presenting uh, this research uh, idea and domain, uh, which is uh, uh, very important. Thank you very much. Over to Aruba. Any question? Yes. Yes, I want to answer uh, Osama Azgar. He has uh, raised his hand. So, yes, if any question you can ask me, or I'll speak to the uh, host. Well, thank you very much uh, for listening to my talk. Thank you.